I was in the office and they kind of just called me and said, oh, can I speak to you? So we went into the room. Um, actually, he, he just burst into tears and I thought, oh my God, what's happened? And he just said, you know, the doctors think that you have cancer. And when I heard it, my first reaction was, don't be so ridiculous. And then I guess, you know, my heart started pounding and I thought, oh my God. Um, but I, I sort of stayed with the, the notion of it, the, there must be a mistake. I was one of those people who never thought it would happen to her and I still couldn't believe it. It doesn't happen to me, you know, I'm young, fit, um, but I suppose looking back, I was the perfect person to get it. You know that if somebody, even not your family, if they hear that you have this kind of cancer, you have this kind of sickness, cancer, they will think that I'm dying already. You know, it's uh, it's horrible. It's 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 horrible. You lose your hair, your eyebrows. You you know you're tired. It was it's such a sickly feeling. Not only you know, it, yeah. I mean, first you just sit there and you know there's sort of hair everywhere for a start. And uh, you know, it, it came to the point where. I was too scared to um, shower. Doctor decided that Joy, uh, your cancer is capable of transferring into left breast. So we decided to cut it off. So cut it off. By the time I got to the third cycle, I was very ill, um, I was being very sick, um, but also at the same time still looking after my two children. Um, they were at home through the summer, so I put them in summer camps, you know, and I was being very ill. Um, I'd already lost my hair, um, I got long blonde hair, <laughs> and um, you know, that, that hurts when you see that, all your hair going. أول شيء أنا مو متزوج ما عندي حد شيء اسمه الشيء الثاني فكرت إخواني أخواتي فكرت أمي لأني أنا اللي وياها الوحيد لو إخواني بس أنا اللي أخرب والحمد لله رب العالمين بعد هذا كله حتى ربع اللي كانوا معاي يوم أنا صاعي حد منهم قطعني أنا قالوا هذا خلاص بيموت ما فكر وفي ناس جزاهم الله خير لهم ما يشكروا معي وهي صداقة مصلحة أما مخوة لتعميم والله يذكرهم بالخير
I was fortunate enough to um, have the ability to have the medical care that I needed and it wasn't uh, a financial issue for me. You know, and I, and I wondered when people have a financial issue, does that mean that they, they don't have a chance to survive? You know, so I started to search um, in the UAE for cancer organizations. And actually the only one I found, the only one that exists here is Friends of Cancer Patients. Operation here is very costly than Philippines. Yeah. Until one of my friends, one of my, my colleagues introduced me with Victoria Sosan that the, we have a, a charity here, the here in Sharjah Supreme Family Affair, it's like that, so actually it's a blessing in disguise that uh, Dr. Sosan I spoke to Dr. Sosan and then she told me that Joy, you can go on your operation. There are different ways that cancer patients can receive help uh, through a Friends of Cancer Patient. Uh, there is the financial way and there is the psychological support. Uh, the financial way, it, it, it's lots of services involved, uh, providing treatment, uh, providing prosthetic limbs, providing um, equipment uh, for the patient. Uh, and also providing equipment for hospitals if, need, if, they, if they require. When it's come to the friend of cancer patient, we are talking about female. We are majority of our, majority of the member in the friend of cancer patient, they are female. So immediately you are talking about family, which the woman, she's a core uh, member within that family. So when you help any member of friend of cancer patient financially, socially, psychologically, you are helping the whole family, which means the whole community. The best part of Friends of Cancer Patients really is the financial aid that they give to people in the UAE who cannot afford their treatment. And um, health care on the whole is on the rise, but definitely um, cancer um, uh, treatment costs are just going up, I mean really exorbitant uh, pro rata with uh, some salaries here. And if patients don't have insurance, um, then there's a place that you know we can recommend that patients can go to uh, for fi financial support. Cancer is the kind of disease that touches practically everybody at some point in time. Either they know somebody who's been diagnosed with cancer or they have it themselves. Um, given given how rampant it is, how widely spread it is, it's, it's something that affects all our lives and therefore we felt pretty strongly about, about um, supporting it. More so because the way we came into contact with uh, Friends of Cancer patients was that one of our own team had been diagnosed with um, a, a pretty serious and rapid form of cancer and um, the organization was able to assist him and help him through that process and I'm happy to say that he's much better as a result of it. Um, so we felt that it would be an ideal opportunity for us to support something very, very worthwhile. People should not ha be put in, into a place where because of um, money or, or lack of treatment, it puts a choice in their life. So those who cannot afford, does that mean they don't have a right to, to live? I think about this a lot, how it can mess people up, the whole financial situation. I mean, in terms of how other people deal with it, I cannot begin to believe how awful it must be having the financial burden on top. I mean, how, how do people cope? I don't know.